When you think of space, you either think a lot of black or a lot of lights. That's how most people, including some scientists, think about it. But now, a new discovery has been made and it's blowing minds with its weird behavior. Stick around and learn all about the pulsating core of a massive star that's been spotted for the first time. Gamma Columbae. Traditionally, when all is said and done, scientific experts would tell you a simple list of criteria that make up the various phenomena that we know about in the universe. Everything must be categorized into one type of event or another, and anomalies are few and far between. Of course, as our technology improves and each generation builds on the work of the last, our ability to readdress previously categorized phenomena only gets better. And that is what has led to this unique object and its extremely intriguing behavior. There is a star about 870 light years from Earth. You might have heard of it. Its name is Gamma Columbae. And for a very long time, it has been known to us, being classified as your typical run-of-the-mill massive star, if such a thing isn't a contradiction in terms. Well, now scientists think that this well-known bright star in the southern skies is actually something else, something that has been hidden in plain sight until now. And this is a discovery that may offer an unprecedented and historic look into the mysterious content of the stars, according to a new study. A new discovery. In the study published at the start of November in Nature Astronomy, Gamma Columbae, which had been considered nothing to write home about, is actually the stripped, pulsating core of a massive star. What does this mean, though? Well, it means that the atmosphere of the star that once existed has been torn away from the core of the star entirely actually exposing what is a naturally occurring nuclear fusion facility at the star center. The discovery of Gamma Columbae being actually just the potent radioactive core of a bigger star has given scientists a lot to think about. First, the discovery of the star's secret identity has been extremely fortunate and coincidental. Actually, Norbert Prisbilla, head of the Institute for Astro and Particle Physics and the University of Innsbruck and co-author of the study, called it serendipitous. He continued, we were simply analyzing a large bunch of stars. From first sight, you wouldn't expect the star to be something special. But then, from more detailed analysis, it immediately became clear that it's something we haven't seen so far. It's always surprising what you'll find if you look closer and closer. Wise words indeed. Prisbiller and his colleagues had not considered that they might find something like this. But they had continued to analyze the star after noticing that there were telltale signatures in Gamma Columbae's light spectrum that showed interesting differences from original theories. The star had specific chemical abundances that lined up better with what is already known about stars after losing their outer atmospheric envelopes. And this led them to the conclusion that we now see. A unique testbed. Prisbilla and his team went on to speculate that, based on their exciting new findings, Gamma Columbae's gassy outer veil had likely been tugged away from it by an unseen, unknown companion star that is very close to it. However, there are some other theories as for why something like this might have happened. As we know, stars are massive centers of gravity and are able to hold things around them in orbit, such as is the case in our own solar system. Sometimes, however, stars can be so close that their gravities compete resulting in either a win and a loss of atomic mass or a merger. The other major theory surrounding the nature of Gamma Columbae is that if the gassy veil wasn't simply ripped away by a companion star, then it merged with one in recent years. This means that as a result of whatever event occurred, Gamma Columbae has significantly decreased in size from what we consider a normal star that was about 12 times the mass of our own sun to the stark naked core that is only about five times as massive as the sun. Astronomers are able to occasionally get a glimpse of the details concerning the cores of extremely massive stars in their late stages, which are known as wolf rayet stars, or the cores of sub-dwarf stars that are comparable in scale to the Sun. However, Gamma Columbae is the first time that an exposed core in this mass range has been discovered before. That means that this star is, according to the study, a unique testbed for stellar or binary evolution, so far hidden in plain sight. Prisbilla added to the excitement, saying, Having a naked stellar core of such a mass is unique so far. He also went on to call Gamma Columbae and its unique circumstances an oddball. He then continued, We have through the wolf rayet stars ideas about how the cores of very massive stars look, and through the subdwarf stars we know how the cores of low mass stars look. But in the middle, in between, so far we don't have much evidence. This is the first step. It's extremely interesting to have found such an opportunity to fill in a few of science's blanks when it comes to the evolution, lifespans, and degradation of stars. White hot. Prisbilla and his team of colleagues have suggested that Gamma Columbae could be currently going through a transitory phase of disequilibrium that will be likely incredibly brief for a solar body, being only a period of about 10,000 years. 
Of course, up until its recent discovery, Gamma Columbae was simply considered to be a regular massive star that had run out of hydrogen fusion in its core, meaning that its outer gassy tiers would be motivated to expand and encompass a companion star in a common atmospheric envelope. This is a pretty unstable event, and the instabilities from such an interaction would have triggered the ejection of the envelope entirely, and possibly a merger of the two stars. All that remains at this point is the incredibly hot center of the star, which can be observed to be likely burning through helium at this point, now that it lacks hydrogen. This doesn't mean the star is going to fizzle out to nothing, however, as it will most likely eventually regain equilibrium by coming a core so extremely hot that it will fuse heavier elements together for another million years or two before ending its existence in some kind of massive stellar explosion that scientists call a stripped core collapse supernova. After that, the star will begin a long afterlife as a type of extremely dense body known as a neutron star. Brisbilla continued to discuss this phenomenon, saying it is very unique to find an object in this phase, because it only lasts for a few thousand years, probably. Long for us humans, but in astronomical timescales, very, very short. It will always stay as a peculiar object. What we can learn for the reasons discussed, Gamma Columbae has become a far more interesting star, or star core at least, than we once thought. It now offers scientists an unrivaled window into the core forces that create and power stars, giving us the potential ability to unearth answers to a wide range of questions in astrophysics. Most notable is the fact that Gamma Columbae will be able to provide insights about the evolution of binary star systems, which, as you'd expect, have far more complicated lives than systems with only a single star like our own. Prisbilla and his team have also suggested that astro-seismology, which is the study of the oscillations that occur inside stars, would be very helpful when it comes to asserting more information from the structure of the star. Prisbilla is excited and definitely wants to continue to study this fascinating new discovery, and he has spoken about what it could be possible to learn from this event. If you analyze earthquakes, you can look really into Earth and how it is built on the inside. And this has to be done with Gamma Columbae, he said. I think we will get a very, very good idea how such a core looks on the inside. This is probably the most interesting factor of all, in terms of scientific outcome, because all the cores are hidden in the other stars, and here we have a naked one, a stripped one, and that will leave a very particular signal in its pulsations," he concluded. We have to follow up on that. So then, it seems that rather than just answering some questions, Gamma Columbae has given us the ability to ask new ones, and perhaps even get the answers to those. What an exciting time! What do you think about this new discovery? In that enrichment of knowledge that we have about the universe, Space Infinity will guide you along your journey through the cosmos. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Further discussion is welcome, so comment down below. And be sure to check out the Space Infinity archive for more content about our universe.